Today, state leaders toured the extreme flooding damage done in the Salinas Valley town of Pajaro. Yesterday, Governor Newsom requested federal emergency aid from President Biden for the second time this year. ABC 7 News reporter Lauren Martinez sat down one on one with California's lieutenant governor to ask what can be done. Piles of debris are a visible consequence of unrelenting storms in our state. While California has been doing our part, we need the federal government to recognize that California is experiencing severe weather, extreme weather. Lieutenant Governor Eleni Kunalakis said California needs more attention from Washington. On Wednesday, she surveyed severely damaged farms and homes in Pajaro. The Bay Area alone experienced snow, flooding, mudslides and widespread pg e power outages. We're doing uh, our best to work with the utility companies to make improvements to the grid, battery storage, um, uh, other, other ways as we transition to clean energy in the future. The lieutenant governor said California has allocated $60 million for immediate relief. She hopes by touring the storm damage, her voice will add to Governor Newsom's request for a presidential major disaster declaration. President Biden, the people here need your help. We're all the way out here on the West Coast, but this is a real disaster and, and families are waiting and very hopeful for additional assistance. The extent of destruction and rubble in Pajaro is overwhelming. The lieutenant governor said it's important state officials come here to see what happened for themselves. Just by people saying it's not the same thing, videos, not the same, just by coming over here and seeing that's the sadness of the people. This is the street Tomas Garcia's parents live on. Piles of furniture and wreckage in front of almost every home. This is a photo of what it looked like completely flooded. Well, this is a mark for feet, but I believe the level for the wet spot is over here with my fingers. Antonio Hueso, a former raspberry yeah. farmer, raised I his family yeah. in this home. He's one of many residents cleaning and rethinking their future in the farming community. I gotta be strong, but Sometimes we need to to pray, you know. In Pajaro, Lauren Martinez, ABC7 News.